Hey folks, this video is going to cover techniques on using colored pencils to illustrate. So I'm starting with some prop design sketches done in red mechanical pencil. I'll follow up with a Sakura Micron in a size 03. By the way, there are a million ways to do this. This is not the only way to do it, but hopefully some of this resonates with you. I like to use two different techniques when coloring. One is called the overhand grip where I use the side of the pencil. The other is the tripod grip and this is where I hold the pencil like you would when writing an English paper. Generally speaking, I like to use a multi-layer technique to build up the surface and I go back and change colors accordingly. When filling a new area, I'd like to use the side of the pencil to block in all of the color. After filling that area, I can switch back and forth between grips so I can add clarity and details as needed. When introducing a new color, I almost always start out with the overhand grip so I can very slightly, very gradually add in that color. In this clip, my goal is to get a dark reddish brown for the chair. The fill color will start out with an overhand grip done in red. Later I'll go back and use some purple to lay in some kind of a shadow. And then I'm going to follow up by covering everything with brown and that'll make it cohesive. Later I'll go back in and I'll add a little bit of yellow on the opposite side of the shadow and that's going to pump up the highlights. Alright so I'm going to wrap this up with a background demo. Again, I'm going to start out with a red pencil followed by a little bit of pen. Note that I'm using fewer details in the back to push this idea of depth. I'll use an overhand grip to put in a layer of bright colors in the front of the composition. More layers in the front to make the appearance look saturated. And note that in the background of the composition, like with the sky, I'm not really pushing that hard and I'm putting less overall material. Again, I want to push this idea of depth. I'll continue with dull colors and less details in the midground of the composition. And I'll try to really push the visual detail of the foreground elements. So to end things, I'll say that this is just one way and I hope you try to adapt this process and make it your own and hopefully some of this stuff is going to work for you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.